What? Now, the garden. You can't. I don't know the exact verse. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just paraphrasing. It, yeah, like, is it like the. We know Jesus prayed for. How can you say Jesus is God and he prayed at the same time? Sure, stuff sure, like sure. <laughs> sure. Um, we just regard prayer as being communication with the divine. So if Jesus is God, a, a person of God, and the Father is a person of God, then when they talk to each other, particularly when Jesus is here on earth, they, uh, he's praying to the Father, that's all. That's all. Do, 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 uh, uh, do you believe he's a prophet as well? Huh? Do you believe he's a prophet? Absolutely, well? yes. Okay. He comes with prophecies, yeah, yeah. tells you about things that are going to happen in the future. Uh, he well, can. you believe in that? <laughs> uh, well, no, no, wait, yeah, just wait. Well, yeah, the difference yeah. is so, the divine So, sense, so right. for, for example, right, uh, I can believe that Muhammad was a man. A man. Right? Yo, we believe in that, right? He's a man, right? Yeah. Well, the prophet, the prophet part, nah, I don't believe that. You don't believe he's No, the, the prophet parts. Okay, okay. I don't believe that, right? So you see how, like, it's problematic. Holistically, in, in whole, Muhammad is a, in your belief, he's a man and the prophets. Yeah. The yeah. final one, in fact. Yeah. If I Hard was to, to uphold one aspect of him okay. and deny the other, okay. then I am not speaking of the Muhammad you know. So well, stop speaking about the so same man, but you're same denying man. what same man. Man. you're denying what I believe about. Well, no, but it's still the same man. Okay. So now, well, I, I say this: when you speak about Jesus and you deny his divinity, you're talking about a different person. No, because no, intrinsically, no, 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 he is no, 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 both human no, we deny, and divine. No, we, we believe deny. in the same Jesus. You just well, something different about him. There's no way you can believe in the same Jesus if the every fact that you know about Jesus comes from Christian sources. Even the ones that are in the Quran. We have mentioned in the Quran. No, but this Even the ones that are in the Quran. No, okay. They all we don't come believe. from the sources. Hold up. We don't have extra. We don't, wait, wait. We don't believe that the, 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 no, but, but, the things that we believe about Jesus, we believe from the Quran, not from the Bible. Right, but they all come from, it's an origin point. So, for example, no, no, I can, I can no, showcase no. to you. Yes. Wait, so your argument yes, is basically the yes. Quran. You're saying no, wait, it's subjective. I, I can no. understand what your it's argument is. It's not subjective. I Let I think me what show you're saying you is, Can I just? I think what you're saying is that the Quran Muhammad had knowledge of the Bible, he put stuff together. I don't think that, Muhammad did have knowledge of the Bible in a very... I think Muhammad had about as much knowledge of the Bible as you guys do. Okay. I don't think, I don't think sure, he ever read he it. Like a scholar yes, yes. Of the Bible. I, I, I don't think he, he had the Bible over here and was like... I mean, he was on letter, he probably never read the Bible. Well, honest. on letter can mean many things, yeah. right? It can mean that he hasn't received revelation yet, for example. Okay, anyway, get to your point. Okay, yeah, yeah. so my, my point is this, right? Um, everything that you know for, about Jesus comes from Christian sources. I There's don't agree nothing. With that well, well that's, that's fine. again, even the stuff in the Quran, yeah. you can find it in Christian mythology. Because, yeah, because we it comes from the same source. Well, no, that's not good enough yes. because Chris, so <laughs> yeah, we believe in God. <laughs> well, no, no, no. We believe in God. Yes. Yeah. I believe we God sent prophecies no, to Jesus. That doesn't that's work why. the same. That, that doesn't work the same. No. It does. You you can't just say that you believe in the same source. Therefore, you affirm mythology. Mythology are things that don't actually exist, right? They are just stories that human beings have conjured that don't have any okay, kind of divine source behind them. Okay, I'm just talking about now, the things, things in the, about the things in the Quran, yeah. speaking from the cradle, yeah. uh, Mary being in the temple as a child, yes. uh, and, uh, and then being raised by, by Zechariah, yes. um, things like him speaking from the cradle, uh, Mary at the palm tree, for example. Yes. Yes. These things come from Christian yeah. mythology. Yeah. And no, I can no, show it. No, no, no. He's saying that. No, do you know why? Do you know, do you know why you see it? Right. In his, in his because, because it all comes from the same source. <laughs> well, <laughs> it all comes from God. Here's the problem. God sent the uh, God sent the Injil. Here's the problem. And he sent the Quran. Yes. Yeah, so there's going to be similarities. When you when you look at Many. the mythological aspects that I'm telling you about, I don't fully really understand what you mean. But can you give so, me an example of something? Absolutely. Yeah. So, for example, uh, things like Mary being in the temple. Why is that mythological? Because yeah, there, there is no precedence of in, in first century Judea. Yeah. Um, within the temple, the second temple uh, built by Herod, yeah. there is no precedence for there being female vestal virgins in the temple who are raised there Wait, so and then given no, like, to historical a... historical evidence. Yeah, but we believe that Mary is a, like no, an outlier. She was the only one. The Quran tells you that she was raised there, right? Yes. yes. In the temple. Yes. yes. This did not happen to women in first century Judea. Yeah, I agree with you. Mary's a, 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 like a... That's a similar she's, she's an outlier. One. Can she's you an outlier to the rule, so you're yeah. she was prove like the that? Yes. Okay. Because, because here's why I say prove it, right? We have a second century in the century after Jesus, mm -hmm. after Mary. Mm -hmm. We have a second century document yes. that claims to be a true gospel, yeah. but we know it's false because it does not what meet... Is this, this is the infancy gospel of James. Okay. 
Yeah. You can actually read it in full. It's just preserved. Right. You need to read it. Right. It's in full. Now, in the Gospel of James, it, or, or the pseudo apocrypha of James, it talks about Mary being raised in the temple, and then when she was 12 years old, she was given over to Joseph okay. to be her guardian. Okay. And then when she was 16, it says these strange things began to happen, implying her being visited by the angel and told she would have a son. Yeah. Right? Why did you deny it? We deny it because it does not meet the four criteria that we use to assign true gospels to our Bible. All those criteria? Four criteria. It has to be from the first century because it has to have been written by the people who were with Jesus. In the second century, it has to have been with Jesus. With, uh, Jesus. with Jesus. Were these Jesus. four canonical gospels? All of them, were they yes. With Jesus? Yes. So, so the, the people who wrote them were all his apostles, people who were directly his following him. What? Uh? Is that synonymous with disciples? Uh, so, any follower yeah. can be called a disciple, like a teacher, uh, sorry, a student of, of, a, of a message yes. can be called a disciple. Uh, but strictly, apostles are a grade above disciples. They are the very people who walked with Jesus. For example, you have your Sahaba. These are probably the how we say how are you? The how are you? The how are you? Exactly, right? So, uh, moment, please. Let me just go through four criteria. Yeah. So, in uh, the second century, the first century, they're all dead. So you 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 can't you can't write when you're dead. Yeah, you didn't see Jesus. Basically, you didn't see Jesus. Well, so well, write. these guys are dead, right? So it has to be from them. If it's not from the twelve, okay, but what if? Then we throw it away, but right? So sorry, this gospel. That's, that's the first one. What's the, the gospel you did? The, 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 the pseudo apocrypha of James. But how do you not know that James was with Jesus? Maybe it was just found no, 100 years no. ago. No, so James was with Jesus, but the yeah. things in there, point two, by the way, of how we judge this, they contradict what we have in prior scripture. So from the, from the half of, of the first century all the way to the end, we had already accepted that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were four canonical gospels. All Christian communities, anywhere from Egypt, Ethiopia, Antioch, Asia Minor, even in Rome, yeah. accepted the four. Now, if the things in the pseudo apocrypha contradict the four, Sorry, then they can't be from the first century. So from Rome and Ethiopia, with different beliefs? No, same belief. Same belief. In the first century, particularly. Was there, was there, was There's there, two more. Just one second, please. Just, can I just, There's two more criteria. With it, Sorry, the first century Christians, yes. so these first Christians, yes. were they Trinitarians? Yes, absolutely. Uh, if, even within the, the Bible itself, we, we see uh, people like Peter referring to Jesus as the, um, the uh, author of life. We see people like John, the apostle, so referring to like, Jesus um, as the Word of God who created all things. I'm not, like, I'm not super knowledgeable, but I just... What do you say about like the Council of Nicaea where like the Holy Spirit was added as a, as a, as a third... You've heard it wrong. Okay. Here's the right version. Uh, it could be a misconception. Yes. I'm saying, okay. In the very first century of Islam, I am not jumping, give me a moment, let me show you what I mean. I'll let you make your point. Yeah. In the very first century of Islam, there weren't arguments about if the Quran was uncreated or created, right? Oh, there oh, weren't arguments about this, <laughs> right? There weren't arguments about this. Nobody was bringing this up. Yes. In later centuries, it became a topic of conversation. Okay. Okay. And then you solidified the belief. Now, you would claim that what was solidified uh, centuries later was the original teaching of Muhammad in the same capacity. Nobody was arguing about the Trinity being real or fake in the first century. Mm -hmm. There were people saying some things that were wrong. For example, about like the Unitarian, like Ebionites. Here's the issue, though: people like the Unitarians of the first century were saying the opposite of what you Muslims say. Jesus is so much God that he wasn't even human. Oh, I don't know about that. He was a ghost. Huh? I don't know. That's I'm what they were saying. Good. Basically, there was a, there's a group That's of what they were saying. people that we know existed, which are known Ebionites. They're Unitarian, they believe that Jesus is a prophet, God is God. And basically, what we say, he's saying it's the opposite. He's it's saying the that other Jesus way around. was so holy. Was so much God that he wasn't even he human. Was, no, but they're so Unitarians. They believe in the Father. Yeah, they're Unitarians. Well, 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 no, no, they, they're not saying they're, they're Unitarians. They're, they're, that's, that's they're, not, they're not Unitarians. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. something that we will call monophysites. Yeah. So by monophysites, so basically, everything has a nature things that you can ascribe to a certain kind of being, right? You are a human because you have the nature of a human. Yeah, uh, lion, lions have a nature of a lion. I can describe what that is, but you, you can get the point, right? There's, right? there's a way I can differentiate you from a lion, right, right. right? Now, these guys believe that Jesus only had one nature. Which is? The divine only, no human. And what do you say? He has a human both. nature and a divine nature. Yeah, he has to have both yeah. in, in order to redeem us as human beings. 
That's Do you that's what, uh, a contradiction. Though? Like, okay. How can he be right. God All right. and human at the same time? By having two natures. In that way, I am not telling you that the divine nature is created, and I am not telling you that the that the human nature is uncreated. When you have two natures, then you can have two ascriptions onto a single person. It's unclear. That's how it's not. <laughs> it's unclear. It's, it's, it's very clear. Uh, it's, it's very clear. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. 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 It's not logical. Give me a moment. You were take, you were it is absolutely so logical. You're saying, you're saying, the only way. realistic thing that I have so ever saying, heard. You're saying a, just because a, you don't understand deity, something doesn't mean it's wrong. A deity can be For example, half. physics. Did you say half? Did you say half? That, that, that applies in Quran as well. Huh? That applies in Quran as well. Well, no. You said if I don't understand it, so it's unclear. You said that. No, no, no. no. I said just because you don't understand something doesn't mean it's wrong. Right? That's what I mean. It doesn't mean it's wrong. The question is, how can something be 100% human, 100% human? A fully God. human feels hungry. By having... A fully God doesn't feel hungry. How does it work the same way? Awesome. Oh, 100%. Awesome. <laughs> That's That's so, answer. That's if we said to you that Jesus has one nature, yeah. and we're telling you that by that one nature, he is both human and God, yeah. then you can critique us. But That's we're telling you that he has two. And because he has two, he can have all the things that you can assign can to God. Let me finish. He you have all the wait, things wait, that you can ascribe to God. Can you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you. I gotta finish, guys. Otherwise, you'll hear what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah I gotta yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah. Let him make his point. I gotta finish. Yeah, let him yeah, make his point. Yeah, yeah. point. Yeah. When you have the human nature, then you can ascribe all the things that you can to a human to Jesus. And when you have the divine nature, you can have all the things you can ascribe to the divine to Jesus. Definitely. And okay. we don't tell. Oh, hey, Bob. I was going, I was going busy with you. We're not telling you that the two of them are mixing. We're not telling you that they're swapping places. We're not telling you that the human nature is uncreated. We are not telling you that the divine just, nature is created. Just, just, okay. We're saying the opposite here. So because you have is two... He, is he, so he's 100% human and 100% God. Well, if you want to say 100% to me fully, then yes. yes. Oh. So essentially everything that you can ascribe to a human so being, you can have, ascribe to him. Same thing with the divine. Like if, he's, if he's 100% God... It's not. If he's 100% God, does he have full knowledge of everything? <laughs> Yes, he does. So how does he not know the hours? Ah. Uh, so, so, so the Bible says so. he was made slightly lower than the angels to become a human. So there were things he he limited himself. So he stopped being God. So he's not 100% God. 100% God. Exactly. He wasn't God analogous to this. He was made slightly lower than the angels. Exactly. So he's not 100% God. So he left his divinity. So he's not 100% God. So he left his divinity. How can a God leave his divinity? The oh, exactly. Sahih Muslim yeah, exactly. 179. Yeah, I'll bring that up. Okay. So yeah. It's okay. Oh, it's, no, it's, no, it's he has an answer. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I haven't heard it before. So, guys. It's a genuine question, by the way. I'm not trying to trap you. Well, yeah. if it's a genuine question, right, you would have read the verse yourself and understood the context. But unfortunately, maybe, maybe been, you've, you've maybe heard it. This is my moment to understand it. You've heard it from somewhere else, okay. right? And now you think it's a point against Jesus. Okay. okay. This simple. Jesus knows everything by virtue of him being God. Yes. However, not everything he knows will he reveal to humankind. So he lied. He didn't lie. So why did he pray to? <laughs> yeah, why did he? Why did he say only the Father has the knowledge? Sure. He lied, yeah. Yeah, he's wrong. That's, That's a lie. Right. It's, it's a not. Lie. A, it's, it's not a lie. So the word that we have there that we translate in English to mean no K N O W, like Arabic has a lot of meanings, right? It has a, we call it like a, a, a high semantic range, yeah, right? You see the irony? <laughs> no? Let me show you. No, no, no. Let me show you why. It doesn't have 600 meanings, no. No, no, no. Oh, hey man. It doesn't have 600 meanings, right? It has a handful of meanings. One example is that we have the exact same word in the Greek being used in a different con in a, sorry in the same context in a different verse in the Bible. So Paul and this sorry, is sorry, just really quickly. The original Bible that you're saying This is a different question. No, Let no, me get saying, to no, my no, point. No, 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 and no, then I don't want to go away back. I'm saying okay. is it Greek or Aramaic, the first the first it's, text it's, that was given to Jesus? It's, no 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 no, no, no 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 not given to Jesus. It derives from him. Oh, okay. I'm saying right. is it in Greek, Aramaic, Hebrew? Greek. Let's let's go with Greek. Okay, we know that it's Aramaic. 
Oh, we 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 know it's Aramaic. Can you provide evidence as Aramaic? It's fine. Go back to go back to your point before. Go back to your point before. Because now now we're going all over the place. Just go back. Just go back. Can you provide evidence? Absolutely. Yes. The original is Greek. All the earliest manuscripts that we have are in Greek. At least you have is from every single New Testament scholar says it's in Greek. Prove, 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 prove that, please. Can you name the manuscript for me? Can I name what? Name the manuscript for me I can't, I from a thousand know. years ago that we consider to be the earliest. So you're making an my, no, my, no, my brother, is... before you make claims, make sure that you know what you're talking about because I will check you on all of them. Yeah. Okay? The, the, the earliest papyrus of the New Testament is Papyrus 52. It's about the size of a credit card. Well, why However, you it's in Koine Greek. <laughs> Everything century. in the second century that you find as well is going to be in Koine Greek. The earliest Aramaic thing that you have in manuscript form is actually a retranslation into Aramaic from the already existing Gospels right, so themselves. An it's actually a it's actually a way of harmonizing yeah, the Gospels. So you don't have the original. No, that's we do have the original the because the original is wrote in Greek. Let me, let, me, let me ask you a question, okay? If the entire region spoke what we call the lingua franca, which is the most common language at the time was Greek, would you rather write a manuscript in Galilean Aramaic, a very specific, um, a very specific dialect that barely any people knew, or, or would you rather write it in the language that everyone spoke? I, I, I do Aramaic personally. I wouldn't translate it and translate the translation and translate the translation because then we would lose the meaning. That's what we must do. We don't do that. Yeah, you do. We don't do that. How many languages do you know? We don't translate off a translation. That's not true. We don't say a translation for Quran is the Quran. No. So every Quran you have today is nothing one. like the original you know, because, because he said, you, he said there's only one, one Quran. Um, okay, is is the Hafs a Quran? Is the what? Is the Hafs a Quran? Is what? Is what? Is a Quran? Yeah, it is. Okay, is the wash a Quran? It's the same, yeah, it's the same. Okay, is the wash and the Hafs identical? It's the same thing. No, it's not. There's different it's Arabic no. words in the Hafs and the wash. I can show you. It's the Arabic. It's the Arabic. They're different Arabic words. It's the So they're not identical. It's impossible for you to understand it. You know why? You know why? Because you don't have a kind of word. Sorry, let me talk. It's impossible for you to understand it. Do you know why? Because you don't know speak Arabic. But I don't need to speak Arabic. You do, you do, you do. That's the thing. They're not the same. We don't have the same. Excuse me, Okay, in Islamic we don't have the same reference. We cannot talk. Man has a translation of the ten kiraat of the Quran, and when he gives the translation into English, there are not only different Arabic words, but his translation into English is different. Hafs is not a language. Okay, Russian is not a language. I know you want to say it's a different dialect. I know. Not dialect. No, it's dialect. It's not language. It's not Latin. It's not. I know. I know. They're kiraat. I know. No, they're not the same. I can it's, show you. It's the same. Okay, it's the same. I can show you differences Where in the halves and the washes. Let me give you an example in English. It's, it's like you, you, you write I, I am or am with, with apostrophe. It's okay, the same. that's different though. That's not different. I, that's I am, no, but that's still different words. One is academic and one is not. In a sense, one is academic and one is not. The word here to forget is also what we try to do. Do you think that all Saudi Arabia in that time speak the same language, the same dialect? Or a have an example. That's half on this one. Someone okay. who doesn't the English language would be, would be astrayed by this. Sure. Works. Do you agree with that? Okay, good. So then, in a sense of identity, the writing, the writing, then in a metaphysical sense of identity, you do have two different Qur'ans, right? No. Okay, if, okay, okay. Is the Hafs the Qur'an? Yes. Okay. When you make that statement, is the is that you're using there an is of identity or predication? So when Jesus says, I'll give you an example. Identity. The is of identity. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because we, believe, because we don't believe it's a fact that Warsh is Hafs. And it's, it's every I, I know single Qur'an of the Raya. Yeah. Yeah. But you do there is say ten, that the, ten 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 you make the statement ten that the Hafs yeah. is the Qur'an, yes. right? Yes. Okay, so when you make that statement, either it's an is of predication, so predication is a quality that I have. Okay, not predication. No, no, no. So then the problem is, is the only other is, is an is of identity. These are the two. 
two ways we use the word is in English. The only two ways. And the problem is, is an is of identity in the rule of identity, there is a law called transitive identity. So you have to say that the hash is the word. He can explain this. Because we talk about it. Because it doesn't change. For example, the rules. If you if you read have if you, if you want uh, if you want to 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 learn if not salat in have or in wash it's the same it's same okay, salat. Okay. The, the, I'm not trying to tell you that there are uh, so, discrepancies the between them that so, are like destructive to, okay. you, to the meaning of Listen, all of them was revealed to the same sorry, prophet. Sorry, sorry. Uh, can can the I ask the same yeah. question in Bible? Can I ask it? Right. Okay. So, How many Bibles do you see? Okay. How many? In a so if you go back to give me a number. The same way give me a so number says, that works. Hold on. The same, same way in which one says that there are multiple yeah. Qurans so now, be the same way. Uh, we don't have multiple Qurans. We have only yeah, one. Okay. And this is why I'm demonstrating this principle to you, right? Because you said earlier that the hat is the Quran is a statement of identity. We've already demonstrated that that's false because an inference rule of identity is that if two things are equal to that of a third, those two things are equal to each other. Other. We hold the I'll give you an example. They are equal. So, I'll give you an example. If Bill Clinton are equal, is identical to the 42nd president of the United States, yeah, and the 42nd the president of the United States has grey hair, therefore Bill Clinton has grey yeah, hair. So, so yeah. this inference this rule of identity word, is if A and B equal, yeah, equal the same C, no, A must word, equal B. Those are identical two. statements. Yeah, yeah, words. The problem the is, is if you say that the sentence the has is the Quran is an is of identity, then you would have to say the has is identical to any other thing which is also identical to the Quran. But you said earlier the hafs is not the wash, the wash is not the al -Ghuri. I'm talking about the principle of identity. So you would have to say it's an is of predication. But the problem is, is how we count predication. Okay. He's saying that, and then if you correct me, he's saying that why is hafs a Quran in Arabic, and it is Arabic. Why is it not the same no, as Warsh? Because we, that's and not they have sure. the same meaning. Because, because that's not what I'm saying. saying. That's what you're saying. No, no, no. You just, just saying, mentioned okay. identity no, no, plus. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Just, just to correct it. Because you're I want to explain to you the crowd. What I'm saying, right? I'm saying, yeah. I'm being so very specific. I'm talking, the I'm talking in metaphysical, the metaphysical terms. Oh, we you, you can't, you can't, right? you can't. So if you can't do that, say no. that okay, well, then if you can't... Well, because it's, it's a Listen, listen, me, right? listen, listen, listen. It has meaning. Being when we're telling being. you... Anything that exists is falling under the category of metaphysics, right? So when you say that the hafs is the Qur'an, all I'm asking you is, is that statement a statement of identity or predication? I already gave you the problem if it's a statement of identity. If it's neither, well, let me answer, ma'am. Yeah, no. Let me answer. You don't because want an answer. You didn't even. Didn't okay, even okay, answer okay. My all right. I'll, I'll answer the question. When you say the hafs is the Quran, is that an is of identity or predication? I don't know what that even means. But. Okay, no, predication is a quality that you ascribe to a thing. So, for example, my name's Thomas, by the way. If I was to say Thomas is white or Thomas is a human, that is an is of predication. And if I am to say um, Thomas is his mother's first child, that's my identity. The statement A equals A is identity. You know For example, if I was to say Bill Clinton uh, is the 42nd no, no, no. president of the United I States, I that's identity. Yeah. So when you make the statement, Quran. okay, is that when you say is the Quran, is it identity. An is identity. identity? Okay. Now here's going to be the problem. I already laid it out to you. To In identity, there is an inference Something rule like that, yeah. known as transitivity. <laughs> Which is just to say, if two things equal a third, those two things must equal each other. So same thing with the Trinity. Okay, wait, wait. We can get onto the Trinity after. But we're talking about this for now. So we can get onto the Trinity after. But we're just talking about this for now, so we can focus ourselves on this. So the problem would be is if you say that the hafs is identical to the Quran, that would mean the hafs would also be identical to the wash, because the wash would also be identical to the Quran. So you can't make that statement. Let me tell you it. A very simple way. Okay. Half is a way to read the Quran, and the worst is a way to read the Quran. It's like seven different Quran. It's like if you, if you know Arabic, that's the thing. You don't know Arabic. But if you know Arabic, you would see the differences are like Malik Yomidin or Malik Yomidin. It's the difference. Like they're, 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 they're not identical. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the, they are. Okay. Yeah, they aren't, but they are. Okay. okay. If they're not identical, that's all my argument. I'm not saying to you that I need to say there are. The thing is. 
the thing is, when we, when we tell you, when we tell you, listen, 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 identity yeah, relation. listen sir, when we tell you, you have many Bibles, we don't mean God went down many Bibles. We say, like, the Christians corrupted it. Or when we say there is seven Quran of the Quran, it's all from God. Yeah, but the all of them, the prophet teaches us. Okay, all of them. Okay, so then the, the different is, nations, right? they all speak to the different languages. If you're saying that there are seven Qur'at and they are all from Allah, then yes. you have to say that it's not an is of identity, so because otherwise another, they'd be identical to each other. So now you're saying it's an so is of predication, probably, right? Uh, you're saying the quality that we're ascribing to these things is that they are the Qur'at. like accents. I'm aware that you want to say that's accents. I'm aware that you want to say that they're accents, but the problem is, is if you say that it's in a predicated so sense, not, not then you're going to count seven Qur'an, right? So similar to this man is a human, you are a human, and I'm a human. Humanity is a quality that we ascribe of each person, but we count one, two, three humans. In this same sense, you would count three Qur'ans. But of course, we have over ten Qur'ans, so you, you would have ten, if not more, Qur'ans. Right? Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so you have all ten plus is equal to each other. Yeah, they have that. The, 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 let, let me finish. Okay. Okay. They have the same meaning. Okay. It's like they, they are from Yemen. Yeah. They are from uh, Algeria, and I'm from Palestine. Now they can call me a dog in Arabic, and I could call them a dog, and it would be a different word. It's just the accent that is different. Exactly. Same thing with the. That's, that's not my objection. <laughs> it is. No, can you say Malik Yom Din and Malik Yom? Okay, okay, wait, wait. They say Malik. They say Malik. Wait, wait, wait. To demonstrate that you're listening, to demonstrate that you're listening, can you repeat? Can you repeat back to me what my objection is? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. To, to demonstrate to me that you've been listening to what I'm saying, can you repeat back to me what my objection to your position is? Because I don't. I because everything that you're saying is not actually addressing my argument. So it's agreeing with you. It, it, it's yeah. just not, no, it, you're just speaking past me because you're not actually addressing what I'm saying. So can you repeat back to me what I've said my argument is to you? And like in a shortcut, there is the more there is Quran, the more there is Quran. That's what you said. No. What I said is, when you make the statement, the Hafs is the Quran, the Wash is the Quran, the Al Zuri is the Quran. The statement could either be, when we say something is something, it's either an identity statement or a statement of predication and we've already demonstrated that, that makes more than one i understood that yeah I, but we've already demonstrated that identity is impossible here what? and we've, that go the same and we've demonstrated that predication would lead to there being 10 if not more quran's so if you don't have a rebuttal to that then you should probably take back what you said earlier when you were saying to this gentleman that there is only one quran Yes, the Hafs is the Quran, the Hors is the Quran, but I say both of them are the same. Okay, how many Qur'ans is that? Qur'at or Qur'an? Qur'an one. Because you're saying that these Qur'ats are Qur'ans themselves. It's like a different accent to read the book. So Allah, to make it easy for the nations there, there was a million nations in the Arabic. Have you, have you heard of the hadith where um, there's a gentleman dragging another guy by the scrap of the neck for reciting the Qur'an differently, even though they were both in the Qur'an? Have you heard of the hadith where there was a man dragging another man um, by the neck and he brought him to the Prophet Muhammad? Muhammad, and he said to him, this man is reciting the Qur'an differently. And Muhammad said that he's just reciting another Afru, right? But both of the people there were from the same tribe, the tribe of Qur'an. Right? So if they're just accents, why then would there be two people fighting over recitation if they should be reciting the same accent? However, in a certain context, I have friends who live in the same city, we speak different words. Yes, but, you, but if you're from the same tribe, you would recite the same accent. Um, accent. What? If, you, if you're from the same tribe, you would recite the same accent. Me and my friend, we live both in Nazareth, the city of Jesus. He speaks a different type of way, I yeah, speak a yeah, different type yeah, of way. You and your friend aren't what, what, from the what, same we are, tribe, are you? I am from Nazareth, he is from Nazareth. Yeah, yes, but are, are you like from the, the neighborhood? Same, yes, but are you from the same tribe that speaks the same dialect? What I'm making a clear point to you is that the people from Quraysh... So you're saying it's impossible for two people in Quraysh for them to have different accents? No, no, I'm saying that's impossible. I'm not saying that it's impossible to sound differently, but to recite differently, it would be improbable that two people 
people from the same tribe would recite these same accents. Not even that this is even part of my argument, but this is just a side point to point out to you that no one in the academic literature really says that Afrou are accents. Because not only is it inconsistent with the Hadith literature, but some of the Hadith actually tell you. It's up. you know what Quran means, I can't explain it. But I'm telling you, it's like the first thing to accents. Okay, I give you an example. Yes, can you show me a single Hadith that says that the Afrou are accents? What's Afrou? Do you know the seven Afrou? Oh, yeah. You know, the seven Afrou? Because where do we get the Kira'at from? We get the Kira'at from the seven Afrou, correct? Yes. Yes? Okay. Can you show me a single Hadith where it says that Afrou are accents? <laughs> yeah, can you show me one single Hadith that says... Sorry, just ignore I am Palestinian. I am Palestinian. I am Palestinian. Okay. Yeah, I, I, was ask, I was asking you a question though, right? Can you show me a single Sahih Hadith that says that Afru are accents? Additionally, the reason why I go into Mark the Hoover is the way. Okay, because there, there is none. Can you show me a single Sahih Hadith that speaks of the Kira'at? I'm sure I can, like if I search it. There, there, there's no Hadith that speak of the Kira'at, and there's no Hadith that tell you what Afru are. So, wait, when you make the statement, okay, well, you can come back and show me some time if you want, but I can tell you it's not there. My point to you is, is not only does my argument not depend on it not being accents, but there is also no reason from the data at hand for you to conclude that they are just accents. As a matter of fact, there is more reason to suspect that they are not accents because we have examples in the Hadith literature where people from these same dialectic tribes recite it differently. Yeah, but wouldn't it be a good argument to say Allah wanted to make it easier for them? So Allah wanted to make it easier for the people from the Qureshi tribe Not from to recite from it differently? From all the, the Arabian Peninsula? Yeah, but Arabian I, I think, if, if, if I may, how does Allah make it easy for the Arabic speaking Christians, for example, who were in Yemen or in North uh, Arabia at the time? What, what um, a roof did he provide for them? None. So it's, it's, it's a, a void statement. He made it easy for a very small, select few people. Yeah. And those select few people, they go and make da'wah, they bring people to Islam. But with different dialects. So, for example, how is a how is a Jassanid Christian in in, in Northern Arabia yeah. in the sixth uh, century or seventh century supposed to understand Qureshi Arabic? There is translation and stuff like that. Oh, oh so now point? now that's valid. Right. Before it wasn't valid, but now it's valid. I don't understand your point. So, so now translations are valid. When before you told me that translations were, valid were as not as long the as you don't translate the translation. You understand what Can I mean? Can you please prove that? As, as I, so you made a statement. Can you prove that it's true? That what? That translations are only valid so as long as you do not translate something that has previously I'm sure been translated. I, I'm sure, I'm sure, you deep, I'm sure you deep down agree that if you translate a translation of a translation, there is a meaning that will go off there. There is a meaning that will get lost. You need to prove I, that. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm Arab, okay? If I put an Arabic sentence in Google Translate and to English... In, in, in like any the, point of a translation chain, there is always a possibility for meaning to be lost, even in the first translation. So, exactly. For example, if so I if I you do a translation wait, 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 of a translation wait, wait, wait. of a translation... Wait, 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 but, but your claim was, it's fine to do a first translation, well, no, no, just second. as long as you don't do a second, you right? prove that. But you could still possibly lose meaning in from the first. the first, right? So the argument is kind of self-redundant. No, listen, listen, let me explain it to you. Okay, here, 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 here. I'm, wait, I'm wait, not wait, the wait. English, I don't know how to explain okay. it. Okay, do, do, do this. Explain why one translation is fine. And then let's see if we can't apply that to a second. All right, listen to me, to the end, okay? I believe if you have a book, okay? And you want the book to, to for another people who know a different language to read it. You translate it to them. Imagine these people would go and translate the book to another people, and these would go to translate to them, translate to them, translate to them. The meaning would be lost somewhere. The same thing he said that in the French translation, there's a chance that you might lose the meaning. Then how about the fifth and the sixth? Wouldn't you lose all of the meaning? So by that same logic, then wouldn't it Answer just, me, make, wouldn't you wouldn't it just be redundant to do any translations at all? Yeah. No, but so if you do every, a one translation, so according to your logic, you would have every like every translation that you get of the Quran is worse than the previous directly from yeah. Allah, right? If you have one translation, 
you, it will be way closer for you to understand the Quran than if you had a fifth translation. Okay, th this is why I think the Christian understanding is a bit more consistent, right? Because in your understanding, you're saying that at any point in the translation, there's a probability that it can be lost. So we shouldn't make these translations that aren't, aren't other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah has provided for the Prophet Muhammad in the seven Aqruf and the Qira'at in which we get after it. Now, the problem with that is there are obviously people outside of that diaspora who speak different dialects of even other languages and Arabic. So in order to give da'wah to those people, you're going to have to further translate that even in the concepts you provide them. Now with Christianity, what has been left to us is not just the Bible itself, which we do translate, but also the church in which God is guiding through the Holy Spirit in order to provide correct doctrine to the people. So God works through the church in order to spread Christianity to all nations and all peoples. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand the your point. You're going I, understand. To have. Um, I would say I'm not that educated on the translation. Uh, okay. So I say I understand your So point. why would you make bold claims about translation if you don't know about them? You don't want to be making assumptions. You know? Yeah, it's a, it was an assumption, to be fair. So I, I'm, I'm honest. Well, I, I, why I'm would honest. you make... I, I really do it was an that. assumption. Okay. But what, don't, don't you believe that a, fifth tra a first translation is better than a fifth? Not necessarily. It's a simple question. Like it's Not necessarily. You make that you know? I, I can see why you would so make we the can assumption keep the, the based original up, manuscript. based upon the idea that translations would be get worse the more they're translated. However, that isn't necessarily the case. For example, people who handle translations can speak more than just one language. So it would depend upon the quality of a translator. For example, if you had exceptional translators and it was translated a hundred times, I would be confident with this. That's all. Uh, can I ask you my question that I wanted to ask you like 11, 11 minutes ago? Go for it, man. That's about the Trinity. Go for it. Okay.